Hey guys, before I get on this long tirade about why this is bad and some other cost-cutting measures Wizards of the Coast has made recently, which doesn't make any sense uh, regarding judges as well as promos, WPN promos, which we used to have all the time, Wizards of the Coast is in it to make money. Uh, they also got rid of Modern, by the way, but that will be a new that will be a second video, and they did it in the most sneaky way possible, right? So anyway, I'm going to talk about Platinum Pro. So essentially, Wizards of the Coast cut the Platinum Pro's appearance fees by over 90%. These are the people you see everywhere. These are the people being promoted. These are the people who are going to be in a new documentary about whether or not you can grind and make a living from being a professional Magic the Gathering player. I believe that documentary comes out very soon. And it, this is what happens when the community doesn't stand together and doesn't call Wizards of Coast out. So, okay, the player promotions got canceled. Nah, no one complains about that. Judges are being pretty much mistreated and underpaid, and no one complains about that. Now, Platinum Pros, the most famous, the best Magic players, have lost a ton of guaranteed income. So I'll tell you how this splits out. Uh, from the article, Platinum Pros will receive an appearance fee of $250 for competing at Pro Tours. This was previously $3,000 guaranteed as long as you compete. And this makes being Platinum, putting all that time, signing autographs, being the face of Magic worth it somewhat, right? Um, but now you go from $3,000 to $250, uh, that's a little intense, no? Um, so an appearance fee for $250 from competing at the World Magic Cup, where previously it was $1,000. An appearance fee of $250 for competing at a World Magic Cup qualifier, which is previously $500. These decisions were not made lightly and were finalized only after much discussion about the goals of the Pro Tour Players Club. And this is most telling of what their goal is, actually. The appearance fee we awarded for Platinum Pros were meant to assist in Maintaining the professional magic player's lifestyle, which on all accounts isn't a lot of money. You're not a League of Legends player. You're not Double F or Aphromoo or you're not making six figures guaranteed every year. I'm pretty sure some League of Legends players, if you combine their Twitch and their YouTube, they make over seven figures a year. Easy. Upon evaluation, we believe that the program is not succeeding at this goal and have made the decision to decrease the appearance fee. So the goal was to make, to help the lifestyle of these Magic players who have dedicated their time and have promoted your ga this game a ton. To do that, they took away the guaranteed fee. Uh, Brian Kibler says, The real issue here isn't even the appearance fee cut, but rather the timing of communication. Lots of players have spent mo time and money trying to reach Platinum with the expectation that it's worth 11000 more than it will be after these changes. Absolutely true. This is just incredibly deceptive and disrespectful of Wizards of the Coast towards their most dedicated pro players. If they announced it at the start of the season or if it went into effect after next season, it would suck, but it would, wouldn't be the bait and switch this is. The timing is really to screw over the current Platinum Pros. Um, and the thing is, why would they play this game anymore? Why don't they play Hearthstone or League of Legends? I mean, Brian Kibler is a perfect example of someone making good income from Hearthstone that has given up on Magic. And basically, they have admitted that it's impossible to make Magic your career. And all these people who were professional grinders and had this dream and everything got more expensive. And this is, I'm going to put this in a different context of why they got rid of Modern in my next video. But essentially, they have made tournaments way more expensive. They put, you know, they made judges have to be paid by tournament organizers instead of getting those judge packets, which really helped reduce the cost of tournament of GPs and larger events. They got rid of the reward program completely, so now you get Planeswalker points, which pretty much you can't trade in for anything like at all. Where before, if you had points, you could trade in for cool vampire nighthawks and just really cool stuff. But I guess just shipping was uh, too much for them, um, and. You know, this is pretty...
pretty crazy. Um, Magic has been doing very well. I'm not sure why they are cutting back and making these changes. And it's it just so mind-boggling. Like, wow, $250 doesn't ca even cover the gas, the food, and the hotel room. And if the air freight could... Remember, these pro tours are not just in the U.S. or in their native country. These pro tours are everywhere. You're going to see a significantly less... Um, amount of pros now you might say oh well they're going they're not saving money because they're putting money into the uh, payout they've increased payout but not to justify there are 38 current platinum pros if every member just attended one event just so this is the lowest denominator they would save a hundred and four thousand dollars and five a hundred and four thousand five hundred dollars in attendance fees Magic is supposed to be the next eSport. It's supposed to compete with League of Legends or even a lesser extent, Hearthstone. I'm not sure this is the way to do it, is to piss off the 38 most elite Magic players that people that have promoted this game beautifully and in many regards they promote it free. And you're taking away their livelihood. So, uh, you know, I expect this from Wizards of the Coast, but <laughs> even when you expect them, Ex expect them to do this because they're a corporation and they're a company that wants to make money. You don't expect the extent, right? The extent is pretty brutal. And the ferociousness of um, how they word it and when they drop it. And, you know, all you have to do is tell the judges, we appreciate what you do. This is why we can't do it. And then they probably wouldn't sue you. Instead, you ban them and you ban hammer them. And, you know, what do you expect to happen?